To start off, this is the Big M from Mega Bass. And I'll show you guys what this looks like. Yuki Ito, I think that's what his name is. He's Mega Bass's in house designer. Now, according to Mega Bass, this bait will dive 12 feet deep. And looking at that bill, I find that hard to fathom. Although there's been confirmation from a couple of their pro staffers that it does indeed go 12 feet on 20 pound test line. So who knows? This is the Wagon Oikawa color. I think it's some kind of trout or salmonoid species in Japan. And you see the belly there is a little bit of purple pearlescent paint. Megabass does this with a lot of their baits. And this thing is two ounces. And just a beautiful bait. Mega Bass is known for their colors, their paint jobs, and as you can hear that there's um, there's tungsten balls inside. That's their weight transfer system. It's not magnetic, so it just kind of. I mean, I think this bait will cast very well. All right, so that's the big M. Here is the Rapala Super Shadow Wrap. This bait I actually picked up last year. And Tackle Advisors has a video on his website. He's, he's got the brown trout version. And after watching that, I just had to get one. That's like a size 5 watt decoy plugging single hook. I mean, this is like a tuna hook. I believe Rapala designed this for pike. Um, I don't know if they have musky over in Europe, but this is a European domestic market bait. And yeah, I mean, it looks really nice. It's sort of a suspending jerk bait type deal. Just a super sized jerk bait. Look, this is a very pretty bait, but compared to that, there there is a difference. And you see how Mega Bass plays with those iridescent colors. You know, it changes colors depending on what angle you're looking at. So, yeah. My first glide bait. That's the River to Sea S Waver 168. And you see the Tactical bass and guys talk about this bait a lot. What surprised me about this is how beefy the stock treble hooks are. I mean, these are these are like 3x trebles. This color is Warden, kind of like a sexy shag color, I guess. It's got that kind of blue back, and then the shag scale patterns, sort of a very mutish chartreuse stripe through the middle, white belly. Um, the tail color is that old plastic yellowy translucent color. This is sort of an entry level size swim bait. Okay. And I have one last hard bait actually. Let's see where that is. Right, so here is the last hard bait I purchased this year. And this is the Duo Realis Fang Bait 140 DR. DR stands for Deep Runner. This is a floating crankbait. And you don't see this type of profile a lot in bass fishing. I replaced these with singles. These are the Owner Saltwater Single Hooks. And these hooks are excellent. They are, in my opinion, the best single hooks that's readily available here. Um, this bait is a through wire construction. So you see the, the line tie here. That wire runs through and, it, and it's part of the hook hangers. 
all the way to back here. And then in case that's the duo and you see, you know, it's a plain white with a chartreuse head, but they threw in some glitter. Just a little bit of flash in there. And I'm a big fan of duo. Um, they're a smaller company, but they make some nice stuff. Okay. All right, so that's it for the hard baits. Um, the soft baits, I do have a few. First one is the Mega Bass Spark Shad. This color is, I believe, the Black Shad. I'm sorry, this is a Gold Shad. Um, I don't see any gold in here, let's see. Yeah, maybe, I think in the body. I guess you can consider that gold. I don't see any gold. But yeah, this looks like a direct replica from their smaller spark shads. You know, they got the molded in fins. There's a hook slot. And you can rig this weedless. And the hook I'm using for most of these big soft plastic swim baits is either the owner Beast Adot, which is this one here or the Beast 10 odd. So I have the Beast 10 odd that's unweighted. This looks to be a pretty good fit, right? Right there. And the slot, as you push it in, should give you plenty of gap to hook your fish. This is, I am going to call this the Blue Shad. So it's less translucent of a body, right? This one you can kind of see light through. And this, not so much. Nice looking base. Let me get a weight on this real quick for you guys. And is that touching? No. All right, so it's about 1.8 ounces, just the bait itself. This is the ADOT beast hook. So you're looking at 2.2 ounces for the total package. Not bad. All right, so next up is the new Kitech Easy Shiner 8 inch. And this size just hit the US market, but this one, all the Kitechs, except for the white color Kitechs, have a very strong squid scent. This one is no exception. So this is probably one of their best selling colors. It's called Bluegill Flash. It's got like an amber belly, dark blue top with blue and gold flakes. And the thing about Kitech is they use different density plastics. So the belly of this bait is denser than the top. There's more salt. And the Easy Shiners at all sizes, they're gonna have a very wide kick. A wide and rapid tail kick. And then sort of a tight, tight shimmy. In my opinion, one of the best soft plastic swim bait designs ever made. Right, and I'll give you a quick size comparison. So this is the five inch. And here is the next size up. I mean, what the hell? What the hell, Kitech? Why can't you give us a six inch or a 6.5 inch? I mean, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. <laughs> There's half inch increments from 2.5 to five inch. And then you get that. It's unbelievable. All right, let me wipe my hands down and then give you guys a weight. One point four seven ounces is the bait on its own, and this is a ten aught owner beast hook. I think the eight aught owner beast will work as well. Okay, and that is one point six three ounces. There is that right there. Okay, and last but not least, these are the Kitech 6.8 and 7.8 fat impacts. And these were released um, about a year ago. So I'm sure a lot of you have seen it, 
throwing it. Sexy shag color, probably one of my favorite colors that Kitek makes. And the 6.8, I think is a little under two ounces. This is a more manageable size. I believe this is the crystal shad color. Very pretty. It's got a light blue flake all throughout. Black flake as well. Like I said, the Easy Shiner has sort of a wide tail kick. Less of a body roll. The fat impacts. The tail doesn't kick side to side as much as it does this. It kind of rolls. That's, that's just from what I can see. Okay, and in terms of the hook on the 7.8, it's the 10 knot weighted owner beast hook. And on the 6.8, it's the 8 dot owner beast hook. And again, these baits also have pretty deep belly slit, and they're so soft. These are much softer than the Mega Bass Spark Shad. When a fish hits, they're gonna compress the plastic and you're gonna have plenty of gap. Right, and finally, I have one rigged up here on a jig head. This is a 6.8. And this is a one ounce Z-Man um, jig head. I'll, I'll leave a link to everything down below, but on the 6.8, that's a perfect size. I believe these are Mustad Ultra Point hooks, and then this will allow you to get much deeper than the owner belly weighted hooks. And very quickly, I'll show you the setup. So that is the Mega Bass Hayuga 7.2 Heavy. This is one of my favorite rods. It does so many things so well. And the only Mega Bass rod I've owned that I was truly impressed by. A double footed guys, titanium framed SIC guys all the way through. And the reel, that's a Shimano Tranks 300 um, with a power handle. So this is not my reel, this is my uncle's reel. But I am probably going to pick one of these up. Either this or maybe even the Abu Revo Beast that Tackle Advisors just reviewed. Um, the Daiwa Alexa is probably the cheapest option, but I want a 300 size reel. I've been using 200 size Corrados, Catulas. They work well, but I think if you're gonna throw big baits all day, you know, two, three ounce plus baits, you want something a little beefy. By the way, the radio on this rod, you know, it says, half to four ounce, it's, it's probably closer to three ounce. I think once you approach three ounces, this rod is pretty much done. So, yeah. So that's the rod, reel. Here are the baits. One last time, complete mess on my table. Um, yeah, so, Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this and um, yeah, fishing season couldn't come soon enough. All right, talk to you guys later.